point on the curve, y equals the square root of x squared minus 10x plus 26, where the gradient is zero. So since they've given us the gradient of the curve, you need to think about differentiating. As when you find the derivative of an equation, you're working out an expression for the gradient, okay? And we know the gradient is zero. Hopefully from there we can form an equation to solve to find the first value x, okay? So I'm going to start by writing the equation down over here. So y equals the square root of x squared minus 10x plus 26. Okay, and I'm going to find the derivative of this equation. So before I do that, I'm just going to rewrite the equation in a different way. And I'm going to replace the square root symbol with the power of a half. Okay, so these mean the same thing. Okay, but rewriting it this way makes it more obvious that I need to use the chain rule to differentiate. Remember when you have an expression with x inside brackets and a power outside the brackets, we need to use the chain rule to di differentiate. Okay, so when we're using the chain rule, we differentiate the outside of the brackets, the inside of the brackets, and we multiply those two answers together. So if I differentiate on the outside to start with, I take this power, a half, and I multiply it by this bracket. So a half multiplied by x squared minus 10x plus 26. So what's inside the brackets stays the same. The power always decreases by one. So a half take away one is negative a half. Next, we have to multiply all of this by the derivative of what's inside the brackets. So I need to look inside the brackets here and differentiate each of these terms. So if I differentiate x squared, I'm left with 2x. Then if I differentiate negative 10x, I'm left with negative 10. And lastly here, if we differentiate a constant, we're left with 0. And make sure you write this answer in brackets, because remember you're multiplying all of this with what's on the left-hand side. Okay? So the easiest way to simplify this is to multiply this bracket by the number at the front, a half. So a half multiplied by 2x is 1x. And a half multiplied by negative 10 is negative 5. And remember to leave that in brackets. And we're multiplying these together. Okay, so this is the derivative. I'm just going to do one last step and rewrite it as a fraction instead, as I think it's a bit easier to do the next part. Okay, so notice how this power here is negative, okay? That means I can write what's inside this bracket here as the denominator in a fraction. x minus 5 is going to be the numerator. Okay, so when I write this expression underneath, x squared minus 10x plus 26, you have to remember to change the power to a positive, okay? So the sign changes. So anything to the power of a half is the same as square rooting. So instead of writing the power of a half, you can write it like so. Okay, so this is the derivative of the equation. This is the gradient of the curve at any point, okay? But remember, we're told what the gradient is. It's zero. So next what you have to do is put your expression equal to zero, and then we can solve this equation to work out the value of x. Okay, so if I'm solving this equation, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this fraction. So if I multiply by the denominator on both sides, I'm left with x minus 5 on the left-hand side, okay, if this cancels. And if I multiply the right-hand side by that denominator, I get 0. As whenever you multiply something by 0, you get 0. Okay, so if x minus 5 is equal to 0, we know that x is equal to positive 5. Okay, so there's our value of x. Next, what we have to do is find the value of y. So to do that, you have to substitute your value 5 into the original equation. Okay, so you're replacing the x value here and here to work out the value of y. Okay, so we have y equals the square root of 5 squared minus 10 lots of 5 plus 26. Okay, so um, 5 squared is 25. Negative 10 multiplied by 5 is negative 50. And plus 26. Okay, so 25 take away 50 is negative 25. And remember you're adding 26. 
negative 25 plus 26 is 1. So the square root of 1 is 1. Okay, so that is the value of y. So the coordinates are 5, 1. Remember, 5 was our value of x and 1 was our value of y.